What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm... If you've been following me for a little bit, or if you haven't, I'm gonna tell you. If you've been following me for a little bit, you know that I have been on a journey. Not to sound dramatic. I did the big chop about a year ago, and I've been wearing my hair in protective styles ever since. I've done rot sets, I've done extensions, and most recently, braids. I've loved having braids. I feel like it's been so easy to work with and just let my hair do its thing, but now it's time to take them out, and I'm a little bit scared. A little bit scared. I've done my research, I've watched YouTube videos, I've read articles, and now it's time to attempt to take them out. I already made an appointment for next week to get them put back in, so they have to come out today. This is what my braids are looking like right now. I got them about a month and a half ago, going on like two months. So this is a bit closer and you can sort of see here. This is where the braid was originally attached and this is how much new growth that I've had. There's some product buildup in there too. Gross. Embarrassing. So I'm gonna stop that. It's like past time to get these out, so let's just do it. I have all of the products that I need. Has this end open long enough? Have we got it? Have I said everything I need to say? I hope so. I can't really, I cannot wait any longer to get these braids out. It's driving me crazy, so let's just, let's just do it. Let's do it! So I was just reading, I guess, blog posts about how to take out the braids again. It sounds a little more intense than I remember reading before. Do not be alarmed if you see huge knots at the ends or some breakage. Also, it says I was supposed to have a detangler and I did not get a detangler. Use the detangler! What's detangler? I do have some warm water. Okay, it says something with gut slip. Great living conditioner, deep conditioner, oil, mix of water and conditioner. Okay, we got this, we got this. First thing, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair. This is cute. And it says cut below where you think your hair is. It's down here. This, there's no way my hair's all on. No way. No way. Okay. <laughs> now we're just going to unbraid from the bottom. That's crazy. Look at that. That's my hair, y'all. Look at how much shorter it is compared to all the other braids. Okay, so many more, so many more to go. This is not gonna be that long of a video. I'm gonna cut a lot of this out. One hour later. <gasps> we got all the braids taken out. We did it. I didn't chop any of my hair off, which is really great. I'm gonna go wash it and I'll be right back. It's obviously much later. I just finished washing my hair. I started this whole process at like 1.30, 2 o'clock, and it's like 7.30 now. Five hours, and we're not done. So this is what my hair is looking like after the shower. She's bouncy, fluffy, feels moisturized. So I'm just gonna do a rod set. Uh, to finish this out so I can go to sleep with it and maybe it'll look good tomorrow. The next morning. Okie dokie artichokies. We're back. It's the next day. Um, I just decided to put my hair up in a rod set last night ow, ow, ow. and decided to just let it do its thing in the curls, curlers, curlers, and now it's time to also take them out. Here's the thing with taking out these braids. It wasn't that hard. I thought it was gonna be harder and more intimidating than it was, um, but it's not that hard. So if you're looking to do it, you probably can, cause I did, and you're probably better at your hair than I am. It does take a lot of time. I started taking my hair out at like 1.30, but it took me until seven to get it all washed, and then obviously I had to put the rollers in it. Which honestly, you're not gonna do that, uh, or you could, honestly, I don't know. Maybe don't follow this as like a tutorial, but more as a helpful guide. I don't know. 